Brings us now to the pledge and inspiration, which will be led this evening by the Brooks County Middle School students. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I present to you the students from our Brooks County Middle School Torch Program. This is Preston, Adia, Matthew, Tania, Megan, Brayden, and Lacey.
Washington and one that provided me an even greater thirst for success. I enjoyed visiting the war memorials and seeing the names of those people who fought to give me the freedom I have today, many, many years later. Change did not come if you wait for some other person for some other time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change that we seek. These words spoken by President Obama are ones that I hold dear to my heart. As I walked the streets of our nation's capital, I felt extreme pride and happiness. The memorials we visited were beautiful. It was incredible to see places like the White House with my own eyes. I imagine that each of us from Brooks County Middle School have the ability to return to Washington, D.C., not as tourists, but as leaders of our future. Amen. Efforts and courage are not enough without purpose and direction. As our group walked through the cold rain and saw all the graves, the changing of the guards, and the laying of the wreath at the Arlington Cemetery, I was reminded of all these men and women who have been laid to rest in the cemetery were all different, but they shared this in common. They loved America very much. Our trip is proof that people who are different, who live different lives, can all come together to do great things. Just like the students at our school, we have a purpose, a direction, and courage to change the world. When I was back on our trip to Washington, D.C., I can't forget the best stop along our journey, the Pentagon Memorial. The benches you see in this picture are positioned to represent the 184 souls who were either on board the plane or inside the Pentagon on September 11, 2001. As Sandy Dahl noted in her tribute to 9-11, if we learn nothing else from this tragedy, we learn that life is short and there is no time for hate. This is a lesson that extends beyond the memorial, beyond our trip to Washington. Because of this trip, my love for others, my desire to see our school and students unite is even greater. I know we can do great things, but those things will never will be that. Uh, those things will be even greater if we work together. As we walk with the Capitol building, we were able to learn a great things thanks to our guide. He shared some pretty funny fun with us. And as you can see from the picture, we were rather intrigued by the architecture of this beautiful building. If you were able to watch our new show, you may have heard our entire group say, eat for a best man, out of many, for me. Why is this important? Out of many families, we all come together as one. We, came, we come together to learn each day, and we come together to make our, this world a better place. While we now carry with us great memories of our, of our nation's capital, we look forward to making more great memories as students and members of our great community. As you can see from our pictures and our personal stories, our, Washington, our trip to Washington, D.C., is one we will never forget. Not only did we experience so many things that brought our learning to life, but we were able to grow as individuals. We were reminded of the history of the United States, but we were inspired to come back and work hard, to seek the best in each day and enjoy the life we have here in Brooks County, so we can prepare for all that our future holds. Superintendent's report of the financial statement. The first uh, report that I have had here is the uh, food nutrition program report. And as you would know, in the revenues, the uh, NESCO department did not, did not close on the revenues local because the spring break, uh, we don't have a last week before the spring break. So that number in local revenues will increase. So that will be reflected in the next month's report. But as you've heard, we've seen uh, more revenue 
have some questions to the board members about the financial statements. Okay. Right. Well, this time we are uh, next on the agenda will be executive session for the purpose of discussing a personnel matter or personnel issues. I uh, would ask you this time if you would uh, uh, leave the room uh, and we'll uh, just as soon as we're through the executive session, we'll call you back in and thank you so much for your uh, participation and cooperation. Are you really filming this? transfer recommendations uh, rather than as a group will vote on them uh, individually. We have three, uh, three transfers to vote on and take them individually. That was only action, uh, only uh, action taken in the executive session. So, uh, it does take us to 6A and uh, Dr. Reed, if you would uh, make your re first recommendation. The approval of certified personnel records. Rick believes is a, is a good hire. 